Hello and welcome to Densight, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you. Today I'll talk about robots knowledge and how it knows things, how it knows where its arm is, leg is, and how it knows what you are going to do with it. But before we proceed, let me uh, request you to join our memberships to support me, of course, support students like for the members only. So the robot, consider uh, a situation. A robot stood still. It had to know things, where its arm was, how bent its elbow was. Without knowing, it was just metal, expensive metal that could do nothing useful. Like a fancy car with no driver. Not even self-driving car. I'm not talking about self-driving car. Think about walking. You know where your foot is. Consider yourself, right? You don't look all the time. You feel it. You know it if it is flat on the ground or just touching your toes. The robot needs to feel too. Our robot partners need to feel too. Why? Because there are so many reasons. They want to behave like human or we want them to behave like human, right? Not with skin that can get scratched. With sensors that are tough, one kind of sensor tells it about angles, joint angles, leg joints, which are very, very important. You know why? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. The important bends in its metal body. The joint is where the robot bends. So that is why it is extremely important. Like your elbow that lets you eat soup. On your knee that lets you sit down. The sensor there in the robots needs to say how much to bend is it straight like a ruler is it a little bent like you uh, leaning back in a chair is it all the way bent like you trying to touch your toes after too much kick this is important this is extremely important very very important for picking things up without dropping them or for not falling over when it tries to dance with you. One common sensor is the encoder. Encoders are about knowing exactly where things are. Precision. You know it precisely. That is the word that engineers like. Like a good tailor measuring for a suit. They don't guess. They measure exactly. The encoder knows the angle exactly. How does it know? Imagine a wheel, a small sturdy wheel made of metal or strong plastic. This wheel turns with the robot's joint. They are connected like gears in a watch. On the wheel, there are marks, very tiny lines or even smaller holes that you can barely see. A light shines on the wheel, a tiny beam like from a laser pointer or a magnet fills the wheel, sensing changes in the metal. As the wheel turns, the light or the magnet sees the marks. It counts them. Each mark that passes by is a small step in the turn. Think of a turnstile at a baseball game. You love baseball? Perhaps each time someone goes through to buy a hot dog, it clicks. The encoder is like that, but much, much faster and more precise. I said precision. Each tiny turn of the joint makes a click or, or rather uh, sends a signal. The robot's brain, the computer inside it, just like us. It counts these signals. 
it knows how much the joint has turned based on the number of signals. Now, there are two main kinds of encoders, incremental and absolute. Incremental is like the turn style. It counts steps from a starting point. If the power goes off, it forgets the count. It needs to start over again. Like you forgetting how many steps you took on a long walk if someone bumps your head. As I said, there are two types of encoders, main kinds of encoders, right? Uh, incremental and absolute. Absolute encoder is different. It always knows its position. That is why it's called absolute. Even if the power goes off for a week, it is like having a map of the joint's movement. You always know where you are on the map. The wheel in an absolute in encoder has a special pattern, not just lines. It might have rings of different patterns. The sensor reads this pattern. The pattern tells the exact angle, like reading coordinates on a map. Why does the robot need this precise knowledge? Imagine the robot has to pick up an egg or something else, something, something naughty, maybe something else. Now, egg is a very fragile thing, like our body parts. Some body parts are very fragile, you know. If it does not know its hand angle, how much it its fingers are closed, it might squeeze it too hard. Imagine if it squeezes too hard your some body parts. Crack. Crack. Omelette on the factory floor. If, if it was egg, of course. And the boss is not happy. Not good for productivity, of course. Isn't it? And of course, if you have a robot partner, and if it squeezes your body part so hard that it cracks, you are not happy with your robot partner, isn't it? So, imagine another situation. The robot has to walk across a room. Suppose your bedroom. If it does not know the angle of its knee, how much it is bent on the bed, it might stumble over its own feet, falling. What is the result? Fall. Robots do not like to fall. You do not like to like your robot to fall because it can break things. Your money is gone. Its own parts or the expensive equipment around it. So the encoder sends signals that tell the robot everything. It tells your robot is bent at 32.5 degrees. Your knee is straight as the shoulder standing at attention. Your wrist is turning like you are stirring a cup of coffee, not a body part. The robot listens to these numbers because robot knows only numbers, 0 and 1, binary numbers. It knows its body in detail through those numbers. It can move with purpose, not just guessing. There is news about these senses. They are getting smaller. These sensors are getting smaller, smaller, smaller. So they can fit into tighter spaces in the robot. They are also becoming more accurate, measuring angles down to uh, tiny fractions of a degree. Some new research uses magnets in clever ways. They can sense the angle without even touching the moving parts, like filling the wind without a flag. That is progress that makes robots more nimble. Of course, also some robots now use cameras to help them understand their position. They look at their own joints using computer vision to estimate the angles. Like you might look at your hand to see how far you have reached. The camera sees the angle, this camera. Okay, this is another way for the robot to know itself. But encoders are still important, very, very important. They are reliable even in dusty factories or dark warehouses. They work in all kinds of light and conditions. Think of a robot arm painting a car or painting your body. It needs to follow a precise path. The paint has to be even. 
the encoder tells the arm exactly where it is at every moment. It moves just a tiny bit, then a little more, following the curves of the car perfectly, if, it, if it's painting a car, not your body. Your body also has a lot of curves, curvaceous. A smooth, shiny paint job thanks to the encoder's precision. It happens because of the encoder's precision. Without the encoder, the robot is blind to its own body. It moves like someone trying to find the light switch in a dark room. Sometimes it happens to us. So flailing its arms or hopping to bump into the switch, not a good idea. And of course, it happens because it, it, it does not know where it is going. The encoder is the robot's sense of touch. It's inner eye that sees its own posture, its sense of where it is in space, even without looking. It is the quiet but constant inner voice telling the robot about every bend and turn of its metal limbs. A quiet voice of numbers, again numbers, binary numbers, precise and unwavering. But a very important voice that guides every movement. So the next time you see a robot move with grace, lifting a heavy box or delicately assembling a watch, remember the encoder. That small, often unseen sensor. It is the key to the robot's dexterity. The reason it does not just tumble and fall like a newborn calf, it is encoder. It is due to encoder. It knows its angles and that makes all the difference between a useless pile of metal and a helpful, hardworking machine. It's a simple thing in principle, but it is everything to the robot's ability to interact with the world. Encoder. Thanks for joining this journey. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.